Hello and welcome to day eight of the challenge. Hope you are well today. We have another full body workout for today and we are gonna cover seven exercises. You're gonna need your dumbbells. If you've got a mat, you're probably gonna to want to use it. Um, and we're gonna do 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, and it is two rounds. So we're gonna do squats, plank, reverse lunges, press ups, glute kickbacks, spider mountain climbers, and up right rows. So hopefully you're going to get a good full body workout today and I'd love to hear how you feel at the end of it. So do pop a note below as to what is your favourite and least favourite exercise. So we're going to start with squats. You always have the choice you can do your body weight squats or you're going to grab your dumbbells, bring them up in front of you, plant the feet and we're going to make a start. So we're going to sit back, weight goes into the heels and then drive it back up to the top. That's it, good. Keeping the chest up, core engaged. Squeeze the glutes on the way back up. You can also rest the weights on your shoulders if that helps, particularly when you're trying to keep your chest up. That's it, good. Keeping those knees in line with the toes. Well done. Really focus on keeping the quality. Know that you can squat to a chair if that helps you keep the form. We're just gonna try and keep it moving for the full 45 seconds. One more rep. Good, and we're gonna take it down to the floor for a plank. You can do it against the worktop if you need that other option. Or we're gonna to come to our hands or our elbows. So we need either the elbow or the shoulder in line or the hand and the shoulder in line. So we're getting that nice squeeze in the shoulder blade, squeezing the glutes, keeping a nice flat back. Or you've got that choice to go to your knees if you need to. Really draw your belly button in towards your spine. That's it, good. Try and keep things level. If you feel like you're going one side to the other, readjust, reset if you need to. That's it, good. We have 10 seconds left before bringing it back up onto our feet. Three, two, one, and up we come. Well done. So we're going for the reverse lunge now. So we're gonna start at the front of the mat, taking a step back, if you can, getting the knee down to the mat, and then we're gonna switch sides. So you wanna keep your chest up, big step back, Drop the knee down. Good. Hold on if you need to. If you're finding it manageable, take hold of those weights. Good. Nice big step. Like with the lunges the other day, you need to make sure there's enough space as you step back to be able to drop your knee down. That's it, great stuff. One more each side, and then we're going back down to the floor for our press ups. If you need to do it against the worktop or the chair, you can do your press ups there, or we're gonna take it down to the mat. So you want your hands a little bit wider than shoulder width, probably as wide as your mat. Bend at the elbow, lower down, for my face comes ahead of your fingertips. Nice stretch across the chest, and then pushing back up. If you wanna start pushing a little bit further, you're gonna come up onto your toes for some negatives, so you lower it down nice and slow, and then drop to your knees to push back up. Or you can work on the full press up. So you've always got the multiple options. You can do it up at an incline on a surface, you can do it on your knees, and you can do it coming up onto your toes. But either negatives or the full. That's it, good. Last one. Fantastic, well done. Now, we're gonna bring it into some glute kickbacks. So we're gonna focus on engaging our glutes. So we're gonna start in a tabletop position, nice and flat, centered down the midline, and then we're gonna kick our left leg back, 
and then we're going to kick our right leg back. I say kick, really we're squeezing and engaging, extending that foot back behind. That's it. So we lift the knee off the mat, we squeeze the glute as we let the leg go back behind and then we pop that knee back to where it starts. The goal in this is to make sure we're not shifting from side to side, we're staying central to that midline throughout as we switch one leg and then the other. Nice and controlled, squeezing the glute, extending the leg, not rocking from side to side. That's it, good. One more. And bring it back down. Good. We're going to spider climbers now, spider mountain climbers. So we're going to our elbows up into that plank position and bringing the knee to the elbow and then switching sides, knee to elbow. 45 seconds start. If you're finding you're not getting to the elbow, it doesn't matter. Just think about where you're trying to get to. You're trying to draw your knee up and around towards your elbow. If it's too much on your toes, you can bring it down to your knees. You're still going to be able to work on that movement. Bring it up and then switching sides. That's good. Just try and get it up as high as you can. Good. One more each side. And then we're bringing it up onto our feet for the last exercise of the first round and it's upright rows. So we're taking hold of our dumbbells and then we're gonna lead with the elbows for an upright row. So elbows up and then control it back down. That's it, so 45 seconds of work. Nice and controlled, squeezing it up and slowly down. That's good. Making sure we're not driving through the legs and through the body. That's good. Squeeze and lift from the elbow. Rather, we're leading with the elbow, we're squeezing the shoulder. That's it, good. And one more rep. Fantastic, good. We have got just a little mini break, about 30 seconds or so and then we're gonna go again. Good. Grab a drink if you need to. Hopefully you're feeling nice and warm. It's only two rounds. So it's gonna do all of those exercises again, just as we did. Make them a little bit more challenging if you would like to. Let's get going with our squats. Sitting back, weight into the heels, knees in line with toes. That's it, driving it back up. Keeping the chest up. That's good, take a nice deep breath in and breathing out. Use the breath to help. One more. Good, and then we're taking it down to the floor for our plank. So, lining ourselves up, either our elbows or our hands underneath our shoulders. That's it. Make sure you've got that solid position before you start, and then bring it into that nice squeeze of the glutes, squeeze of the shoulder blades, nice flat back. If you want to add a bit of difficulty, you can always take it from elbow up to your hands, trying to keep it level, always focusing on those hips being level. You don't want to sink into one side or the other. That's it, good. We've got 10 seconds left, keep it there. Three, two, one, and we're back up 
onto our feet for our reverse lunges. So we're grabbing our dumbbells, start at the front of the mat, and then we're getting ready to take that nice big step back. So we do one side, and then to the other side, keeping the chest up. Keep those knees in line with the toes. Nice work, nearly there. And one more. And stepping it through. Fantastic press ups now. So either against your worktop, your surface, your chair, even the wall. Or we're bringing it down to the floor again. Get yourself ready, weight forward, and then off we go. Lower down, nice stretch across the chest, pushing the floor away. You can adjust the difficulty by adjusting your knees as well. So the further your knees are away, the harder it's gonna get. You're gonna start working towards those negative press-ups. Good, nice and controlled. Try not to let your bum come up too high in the air. Keep the weight shifted forward. Well done. Keep it coming. You're nearly there. Last one. Yes, good. We're going to do the glute kickback. So we're going to do it in a slightly different way so you can decide which version you prefer. So this time we're going to stick to one side for half of it and then switch to the other. So we're going to start with our left side. We're in tabletop and now we start to extend that left leg back. So we're really focused on squeezing your left glute to extend the leg back and then bring the knee back down. Make sure you're not shifting your weight into that right side. That's it. So this should increase the intensity on your left glute. Good. One more. Bring that knee down. Then we switch. Right foot goes back. Squeeze and extend. Squeeze in the glutes, nice and controlled. Well done. Good, keep it going. I'll be interested to hear which version you felt more. Last one. That's good. Well done. Just two exercises to go. We're going to do the spider mountain climbers, trying to get our elbows, nope, trying to get our knees to our elbows. That nice little semicircle shape. Let's get ready. So we're coming forward, and then the knee comes to elbow. Then you switch sides, kind of get that nice, you're gonna feel that nice reach and stretch through your hip flexors as you come up. And you do wanna try and keep yourself flat rather than coming up too high in the air. That's good work. Or over halfway, you can do it. Onto your feet for the last exercise. Upright row for the shoulders. Let's grab our dumbbells. That's it. So standing up nice and tall, bringing the dumbbells in front. There we go. And we're off. Elbows up. Squeeze. Control it back down. Making sure you keep your legs still. You want to have a good solid foundation. Squeezing up and controlling it back down. Last little bit of work. We're nearly there. Well done. Making it to week two. In for the last 10 seconds, squeeze gently back down. And one more. And release. 
Great, well done. Pop those weights to the side. We're just gonna take hold of our feet, do a bit of stretch down the quads. Do the left side and then the right. You can take a little bit longer on these. No reason why you can't get those stretches up from last week if you enjoyed them. Good, bringing the hands behind. A little bit of a chest opening. Releasing, big breath, reach to the sky, out to hang down to the floor. And then slowly rolling it back up. Big breath in and slowly release. Well done, that's another workout complete. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll be back with a cardio workout tomorrow.